Good morning, everyone. No rest for the weary. Yesterday was eclipse day. Today is severe weather day. We're doing a video blog this morning to bring you up to date on what to expect this afternoon as a powerful cold front heads our way. And, you know, during the warm weather season, when we have a big transition from really steamy weather to much cooler fall like weather, it's often a bumpy transition. And uh, that's what we're expecting to unfold this afternoon. Let's start with current weather. Things are quiet this morning locally. We do have some showers and thunderstorms off to our west. This is all well ahead of a cold front. There's almost uh, kind of like what we call a trough of low pressure that's uh, kind of situated right in through, let's see if I can draw it, right in through here that's instigating the first round of showers and storms. I'm expecting this to not be much of an issue for us. We're more concerned about when the actual front approaches as we get into the uh, the afternoon hours today. And this is a doozy of a front. Let me plot up, uh, let me take off the radar and satellite for just a second here and plot up the dew point temperatures. It's real easy to see where our front is when you plot up the moisture content in the atmosphere or you know, the dew point temperatures. As you can see behind the front, dew points are dropping out of the 60s, down into the 50s and even 40s across parts of the upper Midwest this morning. Uh, so it is a big time change. And again, a bumpy transition on the way. In the meantime, very, very muggy ahead of the front. We have dew points this morning in the upper 60s to around 70. It was a very sultry night last night with temperatures in most spots staying in the 70s. That's the last night we're going to have like that for quite some time. So let's uh, talk about the timing today. Here we go. Here's our high res uh, modeling. And again, we use this as a guide. It's certainly not the gospel, um, but we use it as a guide as to what to expect uh, as, as we get into the second half of the day today. Here's 11 o'clock noon. It looks like we're still pretty quiet through about noon. But then as the front draws closer, expecting the radar to become much more active just after noon and towards 1, 2 o'clock across northern Ohio, western Ohio as well. And then everything will, of course, push east. Here's 2 o'clock. As you can see, things are starting to uh, get active. Uh, of course, uh, let me clear out my telestrator there, maybe. Sometimes my telestrator just doesn't want to clear. Anyway, well, here's Youngstown right through here. Uh, there we go. So here we are right here at 2 o'clock with a uh, increasing likelihood of showers and heavy thunderstorms by about that point. And then 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I think our window for severe weather will start to close pretty rapidly as we head towards early evening. So 5, 6 o'clock, the severe weather threat by 5 and 6 o'clock is more towards Pittsburgh and Morgantown and heading over towards uh, central parts of Pennsylvania. And uh, we should just have a couple of residual showers for the rest of the evening. So that's the timing. Now, what about the severity? Here's what I think as far as a breakdown of the severe weather threats today. Number one, by far and away, it's the damaging uh, wind gusts. Let me uh, move this so we can hopefully see it a little bit better. Let's see if that'll help. There we go. Uh, number one today, damaging wind gusts by far. Uh, I can't rule out some hail in these, but it's unlikely to be impactful hail. Tornado risk is pretty low locally. It's not zero, but it's it's pretty low. Uh, but uh, I'm concerned about a, a widespread damaging uh, wind uh, threat uh, for us this afternoon. Uh, when we look at the uh, risks put out by the Storm Prediction Center, let me again move this so hopefully it's a little easier to see. There we go. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center actually has most of the valley now in an enhanced risk of severe weather. And as you can see, that's a category above slight. And certainly when we are in an enhanced risk, that really gets our attention. We're, we're not in an enhanced risk very often. So that's that's why I'm uh, you know pretty concerned about the damaging wind threat as we get into the afternoon today. Two to six is what I have for the general timing of the severe weather threat today. That's again, not going to be perfect, but give you some general guidelines as to the timing of things. Two to six is when severe weather is most likely, could we see a gusty storm just before two or even after six in some spots? It's possible, but most of this should be confined to that uh, two to six time period. And then you know, I talked about the big change. 70s tomorrow, much lower humidity. We might not get out of the 60s Thursday. And what a night for high school football coming up on Friday. It is going to be very comfortable. In fact, jacket weather in most of the region Friday evening, paving the way to a great weekend. You know, we have you uh, covered this afternoon. We'll be doing streaming coverage on WFMJ.com, our Facebook channels, and of course you can watch that streaming coverage on the 21 News app and the Storm Tracker 21 app as well. 
and look for more updates and push notifications coming from the app and coming from us on our social media channels throughout the day. We've got the Valley's best severe weather coverage and we'll show you that uh, this afternoon. In the meantime, be weather aware today and stay safe this afternoon.